What's up everyone and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online gameplay commentary video here on my channel today. This is like Crazy Teddy and we've actually got some really exciting, intriguing and interesting topics to go through in this video. Most importantly the future of Grand Theft Auto Online content updates and DLCs. And I came up with a really awesome theory that I think you guys are going to love to hear. Some of you might have already thought of this but uh, I think it is kind of obvious uh, if you are a general GTA Online user. So with that said be sure to press that like button on this video for your free fucking pancake and subscribe to my channel for your daily dose of GTA 5 content as always. Before we begin I would just like like to mention that it's been around about 62 to 63 days since we've actually seen the last GTA Online DLC. Yes, as GTA Online users, we're normally used to actually getting a DLC as well as some sort of featured playlist every 30 days or so, but it's been over two months and it's really a painful wait for most of us as GTA Online users as we do play the game frequently and just enjoy having fun with our friends. What DLC does is simply brings a breath of fresh air to the community. There's more things to discuss, talk about, test out and of course make videos on if you are a YouTuber just like myself. So just like to start off by requesting Rockstar Games to maybe update us a little bit more on when the DLCs are going to be coming out or if you got something in the works, something really exciting, big, that may take a little while then to definitely keep us up to date on the Newswire and I actually made a full video explaining my personal thoughts and opinions on how the Newswire could be better utilised by Rockstar Games and how the community would appreciate it as a result. I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description or the about section for this one and uh, I would definitely recommend checking it out and showing some support on that once of course you're done with this one. But getting into the main topic of this video, as you guys may know we didn't see the Valentine's Day DLC. i just like to clear up one thing by saying I think I saw a couple of other content creators, um, people who really haven't even contributed anything to the GTA community, people who are always salty and complaining and uh, uh, they actually said it was because of YouTubers that the DLC didn't come out or that we got people's hopes up. But, uh, and I'd just like to say personally, I'm a YouTuber who relays the news and if I see some leaked DLC information, I'm going to report on it. If it then does not become true, then go ahead and hit up the source of that DLC information rather than saying that I got your hopes up as I was simply relaying the news. Of course, once in a while, for example, this video that I'm going to be discussing my personal theory and that's something that I like to do simply as a fan of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. So I hope I cleared everything everything up with that. Getting into the main portion, like I said, we didn't actually see a Valentine's Day DLC. We also didn't see a Halloween update. Halloween for most of us is a really important festival or holiday and to think that GTA Online didn't get anything for Halloween is kind of disheartening as we've seen other games get updates and uh, I think Rockstar Games could have did a great job had they put their mind to it. Of course at the time they may have been busy which gets me to my theory that if we didn't see a Valentine's this year but we did see one last year, does that mean that there's going to be other celebrations that Rockstar Games are going to be including this year that they didn't include the year previously? So of course that works vice versa. Uh, I know a lot of people last year during St. Patrick's Day we saw some DLC leaks and we also saw a couple things. We've seen lots of DLC and content leaks of uh, actual stuff that's never made it to Grand Theft Auto Online or the GTA 5 game. Maybe Rockstar Games are saving it up for some special DLC scattered across the year. I think that is definitely possible once they've got out the PC release and Grand Theft Auto Online heist which may I just mention we haven't really heard much about and once again that links back to my whole newswire discussion where I think if something's taking long then they should definitely notify us uh, link in description as I mentioned previously of course we had US Independence Day I reckon they're gonna be bringing that back however we've got other days for example Easter they didn't do anything last year maybe they can do something this year March 17th which isn't too far away St. Patrick's Day as I mentioned before we've got Labor Day on September the 1st October the 31st we've got Halloween November the 5th we've got Guy Fawkes Day and November the the 11th Veterans Day which has had so many DLC leaks and bits of content that we've actually seen that would fit perfectly for Veterans Day that of course I would love to see coming to Grand Theft Auto Online so let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on this if you guys share and agree with my standpoint to the fact that Rockstar Games should be updating us on DLC content as well as letting us know when the DLCs are coming out with an exact date and of course if anything's taking long if a certain part of the DLC is not finished or they're experiencing some technical difficulties while launching it to definitely keep us updated so be sure to definitely show your support on this video with a like rating if you are new to my channel I actually do upload two GTA 5 videos 
every single day, whether it's like funny moments, DLC information, custom job showcase, live commentaries, videos with friends, and so much more. Be sure to subscribe and join Team Teddy. We are around about 10,000 subscribers away from 500k. You guys already know what's happening for 500k. Take care and have a great rest of your day. <laughs> How did you do this, Deshla? Hello, back down. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who's landed so far. Oh! See, in the entity, just, I don't know, I think the entity makes it easier. Yes! I've done it! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, you son of a- No! <laughs>